Hurry up and ask them. Uh, has your research turned up anything interesting? A few things here and there. But a lot of the data has been corrupted, and all the live samples have been contaminated by the spore plants. One interesting thing I found is that one of the chemicals secreted by the spore plant serves as a mild stimulant when ingested by humans. As far as I can tell, it has no side effects or addictive properties. Aside from the inherent psychological ones, of course. Now that I think of it, there was a Corporal Farber back in McCarran who'd probably be interested in it. There's a sample of it around here somewhere. Alright. And where did these plants, uh, come from? From what I've been able to determine, the scientists here managed to breed them by combining traits from two distinct plant species. The resulting hybrid proved to be more adaptable than expected, however, and soon became a threat to humans. It's sad, really. All those wonderful minds undone by their own irresponsibility. Yeah, that's the way it usually happens. What were you doing down in the cave, anyway? The mantises and spore plants virtually ignored me for most of the time I've been here. It was only once I began to investigate the fifth level that my presence began to agitate them. I guess I was a little too close to home for them. A few days ago, I was attacked by a large number of mantises and was knocked unconscious. When I woke up, I was in that cave. The mantises seemed to feed some of their prey to the plants. Fortunately for me, it appears the plants are disinclined to eat ghoul meat. And how did you get this whole gas thing set up so quickly to begin with? That's a very good question. Actually, I didn't come up with it. The systems were already set to pump the gas when I first arrived here. I believe the scientists were in the process of attempting to ignite the gas just as we're about to do. And by we, I mean you, of course. And what happened to these other scientists then? Something prevented them from igniting the gas, obviously. I suppose it's possible that the gas triggered some kind of defensive reaction. Hordes of previously slumbering creatures may have awoken and entered a killing frenzy, ripping the hapless scientists into quivering, bloody chunks. You'll have to let me know when you get back from going downstairs. And you did say there would be a blast? Oh yes. I imagine there'll be quite an explosion when the gas gets set off. Fire will probably expand throughout the entire level in mere moments. And, uh, how am I supposed to survive that? That does pose a problem, doesn't it? If you could seal yourself inside a room before the explosion went off, you might be protected from the blast. Then again, the flames will probably blow into the rooms down there. Maybe if there were a room that was reinforced. Well, I'm sure you'll figure something out. Bye. Okay, but she didn't really reiterate... supposed to set this thing off. Gaming 
friends, welcome back to the stream. Glad you could join us. Yeah, I'm playing this one again, but this is gonna be my last New Vegas gameplay that I do. I've had quite a bit of problems with uh, the game stalling on me. And uh, so much so that it really has been kind of a hassle replaying the game this time. So this is my final New Vegas game that I'll be uh, that I'll be playing. Contact administrative clearance. But Lockbreak, uh, what? Uh, how have you been doing? What uh, games are you currently playing at the moment? Are you going to be playing Fallout 76 when it comes out in November? I'm not sure how I feel about multiplayer only Fallout with no AIs other than the robots. Got my eyes peeled. Yeah, it'll be, uh. It'll be an interesting, uh. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Still looking. No 
noises in the vents.
Sears office.
I was bedridden for three weeks and two weeks out of my room. Gosh, Spike, you were, uh... It's probably difficult for you to get up and around then, isn't it? It's at the end of a hallway. Yeah, I seem to remember, uh... I seem to remember vaguely that part of the wall is actually torn loose. Or it seems like I remember something like that. And you basically put the grenade in the... Okay, here's where I think I can use... Here's where I think I can use that Vault 22 keycard. Yeah, there we go. Yes. 